Members of a mosque and a Jewish synagogue are worshiping under the same roof. The move has brought Middle East peace to the Bronx, but not everyone thinks the move was too kosher. Bridges World News reporter Chris Nepal shows us how two faiths can coexist together. Under the sixth train in the Bronx lies a very unique mosque. Due to financial issues in the Jewish community, this building is now being used for two religions. One side holds a mosque and the other is a Jewish synagogue. The unification of the Aliman Mosque and the Eastman Hem has brought middle peace right here to the Bronx. Prayer times often occur simultaneously, but the Muslims and Jews use separate entrances to the building. But Imam Musa says the move was not easy at first. He says not everyone in his mosque was on board with the change. 90% of our worshippers left the masjid. About 25% of our students were removed from the school because not all Muslim parents or not all Muslim worshippers actually accept what we're doing. Every inch of this 25,000 square foot building is used to its maximum potential. The mosque holds its praise upstairs in the parking garage, and in the multicultural center room, kids come for an after-school program where English is taught. And right down the hall is the ultra-Orthodox synagogue. When the community went out of the building, they had no uh, place to, uh, to do the services, and uh, everything is stopped. And we're using this place for services and for meals for the elderly people of the community. The unique arrangement began around 2009, when the synagogue's organizers couldn't pay 2000 a month rent for their White Plains Road storefront and found themselves on the street. After about a year under the same roof, the synagogue is raising money to find a home of their own soon. But for now, the rabbi and the imam says the move has brought two different worlds together in the name of peace. It's very, very good, very nice place. A lot of them are coming back because they understand that, you know, uh, what we're doing is First of all, nothing wrong with it. Reporting from the Bronx, New York, Chris Nepal, Bridges World News.